Hi everybody, I'm Rick Beato. In this episode of Everything Music, we're going to talk about the Dorian Mode. Now, I've done one other episode on it, but that episode was focused more on the linear aspect of it. I talked about all the seventh chords and triads that are found in the scale, and I had two different etudes on it. This is more going to be towards how to use it in film scoring, what kind of ideas that's coming up next. So the first thing we want to do is figure out how to create voicings that sound like E Dorian, okay? Now, the scale is the second mode of the D major scale. So starting on E, I'm going to play E in the bass, and I'm going to play the notes of the scale. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, your natural six, D, and back to E. So it's a D major scale from E to E. That's the D Dorian mode, the second mode of the major scale. Now the characteristic notes of the scale, the main one is the natural sixth. And then you have to put the third in there to know that it's a minor chord. That gives you the minor sound. If you just add those two notes, you essentially know that it's an E Dorian mode. So I just want to bring something up. I use the term scale and mode interchangeably. Some people, uh, you know, will call modes, modes are a sub subset of a scale, but a mode is a scale. So I just want to clear that up uh, right up front here. It's a, a uh, succession of notes related to a particular tonic, and this tonic would be E Dorian. E would be the tonic of this, of this scale. Anyway, so in order to come up with Dorian sounding voicings, I need to find things that I think sound good. So I'll give you an example. So I might do something like this. So I might come up with something like this. Okay, so what are these voicings and why am I choosing these notes? I started out with a G major triad over E minor. That establishes an E minor 7 chord. G is the 3rd, B is the 5th, D is the flat 7. Then I, I go to A major over E, which gives you that C sharp, that Dorian note. We've already established the minor in the first voice. I could go... even more Dorian sound. So I retain the G and I add G, C sharp, E. Or I could put, give, give it a dissonance in there to even give it more flavor. I'm looking for seconds, minor seconds, tritones, major sevenths, and minor nines first. Those are my tension notes. And you're going to find them between the second and flat third and the sixth and the flat seven. Those are notes to exploit. You're also going to find the tritone between the. You're also going to find a tritone between the minor third and the natural six. So I'm going to try and look for these to make the voicing sound even more interesting. G major over E, and then then I'm doing an A um, A seven sus four. The voicing is G C sharp D E. So here. I go up to, to G add 9, which is A, B, D, G, and then up to D major triad, and then, then I do an E minor uh, 9 sound, E minor 7, 9, so E, F sharp, G, D. to G, A, D, F sharp. So I'm exploiting this major seven interval. So here they are so far. And right there, or I can go. So I've got G, A, C sharp. There's my Dorian sound. D, A. Or I could not double the A. I'm just 
go G, C sharp, D, A. So I have this open fifth sound in there with a dissonance. So here they are in sequence. I changed a little bit. I went A, B, D. So, so I'm going... Voice leading going on. The A goes to G, D goes to C sharp, and holds, and then the D goes up to E. So check it out. That is a real powerful Dorian sound right there in those succession of chords. So look for constant structures in the scale, take the triads, the seventh chords, and then build upon those by finding half step relationships and exploiting them into major sevenths, into minor nines, things like that. So I could take, let's say, a spread triad in the key. Let's say I do a G major spread triad because I can play that one hand and over E so that's, that gives me the E minor 7 and I'm going to put a and I put an F, F sharp in there I'm going to do the opposite I'm going to go and I'm going to go so I move the F sharp down so I got F sharp D G so I have that flat 9 B so then I can look for another one that's in there. Let's say A, and I do. Let's say I do, and I'm gonna tr I'm gonna find a note that's a half step away, which would be D. And I'm gonna also find a note that's a whole step away. So the A, I'm gonna add a G to it. So I'm looking for whole steps and half steps and exploiting them into larger intervals. The half steps can go to major sevenths and go to minor nines. So I took an A major spread triad there, which which uh, has some good notes on on, uh, on over E to give, but that's not, it doesn't quite describe a Dorian son that describes a second inversion A major chord. That's why you have to add these notes from the Dorian scale so, so I add the G to give me the minor sound. The G gives me the uh, a uh, the minor third. Okay, so I've got the spread triad here, A major spread triad in root position. Add a G to it, and then I add the D. I get that flat seven on the top. Or you can put the D down here. That's a beautiful, that's a powerful sound. So I took the D, instead of having this distance up here, I got... I added the D in lower here. That is a, that's an, an incredibly rich sound. Now you can do this a similar thing using the third and the fourth as you did using the seventh and the root, the flat seventh and the root. I can move that same interval combination. Or I can just simply play G, A, F sharp, and then C sharp and D. Turn the outer notes from major seventh to flat nine. So 
really great sound. Check it out. That's that's beautiful. That's super tense. I have the E in the root. F sharp, the minor nine. The Dorian note, at six. The flat seven for the tension. The minor third. On top, minor third, which I have the, the so I have a couple interesting intervals in here. I have this tritone between the sixth and the minor third, and I have the flat nine between the F sharp, the, the second and the third, and then I have the, I have the half step between the uh, sixth and the flat seven. So I've got all this juicy stuff in the middle of that. Now, if I want to open the voicing up, I could bring the D down here and go. I could invert those intervals, so the C sharp. That's even more modern, that's a little bit more modern sound even. Dorian sound. So I composed a little etude that I'm going to play for you here uh, for you to check out. I've orchestrated a little bit with some strings, I put some piano, I put some winds in it. So check it out. So this is my E Dorian piece.
That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel and tell your friends about it. Also, if you're interested in getting the Beato book, that's my theory and improvisation composition book, write to me in the link provided below. It's my Gmail, rickbeato1 at gmail.com. That's all for now. I'm Rick Beato. Thank you. See you later.